guys I hope you're well uh, my name is Victor and uh, I just want to talk about two problems in the church where music is concerned where musicians are concerned Whew, okay so the first issue that is there is that a lot of church people don't generally regard music as a career. And because they don't regard it as a career, this creates a whole host of problems for those who are musicians, particularly those who are musicians on a full-time basis. Because if you don't see something as a career, how can you appreciate it as a career? How can you treat or give someone the proper respect they deserve if you do not acknowledge what they do as a career? And if you don't see what they do as a career, it is very easy for you to take advantage of this person, to take for granted this person, or to even exploit this person. Because you don't see it as a career. And the solutions that people try to bring are not even that practical to begin with. Because people will say to you, okay, uh, do the music on a part-time basis and have a full-time job. You see what's happening. A person has discovered their calling, their talent, uh, their passion something they like you know and because you don't see it as a career they have to abandon it and do something they don't like you know what happens to people who do jobs they don't like depression yep i read an article once that said a large percentage of heart attacks happen on monday mornings that is when there is not that is when people are waking up to the reality that they're going to jobs they don't like. Do you understand? So we're living in a world of people where most of the time people don't like what they do for a living. And that's what you're asking uh, people to do essentially when you say they should practice what they're passionate about on a part-time basis. Stop saying that. It's not wise. Okay, I understand that uh, churches are not the same in terms of cash flow. My home church is one of those churches that are really struggling in terms of cash flow. So it is not practical to expect them to take proper care of musicians. It is not practical by any means because the resources are not there. They can barely take care of the pastor as he should be taken care of. But there are churches that are capable of taking proper care of musicians, of employing musicians. That Talking about churches that are in the financial space to do so but still choose not to because at the end they don't see it as a career why should i pay this guy why should i hire this guy what he does for a living <laughs> what he's doing is not a career it's not serious it's serious and i'll show you it's serious a, a pastor once uh said that he's tired of these young pastors that get uh, two, f two, two female vocalists and a keyboard player and just start opening churches. I found that very intriguing because it means that they know that music plays an important part in the starting of a church. Fine. My question is, 
find there's times where now you get to where the ministry is having a proper cash flow and can take care of the people who make sure that the service is run. It's not just musicians, there's a lot of people at work, but for the purposes of what I'm trying to illustrate, uh, I'm only going to focus on musicians. Why is it that when now the cash starts rolling in, it's only the pastor who gets taken care of and other people don't matter anymore? That is wrong. And that is sad. Don't do it. Don't do it like that. Neither is it pleasing to God. Okay? Music is a career. The same way you're going to get a professional plumber to come do uh, the church plumbing or whatever. And you're not going to try and, uh, you know, con him out of what he charged you or try to guilt trip him into doing it for free. You should adopt that same mentality towards musicians that are in the ministry and are working for the ministry. When you get to a point where you are financially able to take care of them, do so because they are your responsibility. Musicians are the church's responsibility. I will cover this in another video. The other problem that is there that I can see is that you get musicians who do get paid something, you know, yeah, something, you know, just enough to cover the rent or whatever. They get paid that and they don't come to church rehearsals. They I mean, you, you get him paid on time, but you don't attend rehearsals. You don't take the music seriously. Uh, I'd like to say that such people, I don't consider them professionals because now they're making everyone else look bad. I had someone today say to me that, Gafana, we have people, we pay them. They don't attend rehearsals. They don't rock up for church. Look, if you've been employed, if you're one of the chosen few that are lucky to be employed, uh, I, I, I know that church is stable income, you know. A lot of people are able to meet their payments every month because they play in a church. So if you're one of those, <laughs> the chosen lucky ones who are uh, playing, you know, and getting paid at a church, do your job. You're getting paid for it. Stop making us look bad. you tarnishing the image of musicians everywhere because you cannot carry yourself like a professional. Be professional. Okay? If you're unhappy about what you're being paid, rather leave than to do a job badly because then it messes up the way for other musicians who need that money. And who will appreciate that job more than you. So if you're paid, you know, when you're hired, you, the, there's terms that you, you agree to, to say, okay, I'm hired, I will come for rehearsals, I will come for church. Uh, if I can't make it, I'll tell you on time. Um, I'll send a suitable replacement, someone who will really fill the gap properly. <laughs> Let's be professional, guys. Okay? That's it for this video. Uh, we'll talk just now. Cheers. Guys, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Uh, please let me know if there's anything you'd like me to address. Uh, let me know if you disagree. Let me know why you disagree. It's always good to engage and talk and see other people's views. What I'm saying is not the gospel truth, it's just my views and I'd like to hear yours. Yeah, hope to talk real soon. Cheers.